The Sturgis Police Department unveiled its new Mission 22 patrol car today. Madison Newman was there and she tells us why this initiative is so important for our veterans and the community. On average, 22 veterans commit suicide every day. Mission 22 is designed to provide treatment programs for veterans with post-traumatic stress, traumatic brain injuries, or other struggles they might be facing. I would gotten a call from one of the Sturgis officers about a veteran who was struggling on the side of the highway. The chief wanted to do something more for the community, more getting more involved, and had wanted a vehicle wrapped after he had seen the uh, Rapid City Police Department vehicle in them. Sturgis Chief of Police Jody Vanderwater says Sturgis is a veteran town, and the motorcycle rally brings in even more veterans. Vanderwater wants to help educate the public while supporting struggling veterans. There's been multiple times, multiple occasions where I've come across veterans and they don't necessarily like police officers. They've had bad run-ins with them. When Chris gets resources, he'll show up to the call. By the time that call is done, then veterans have a different view on police officers. Cooper is the Mission 22 region leader and a veteran himself. He says if he were to give any advice to veterans, it would be, you are not alone. It's really important because it kind of shows that bond between the community and the police department. It shows veterans that they're not alone. That they do have people out there who care about them and want to help them. Cooper says that if there is a veteran in need of help, reach out via Mission 22's website or contact Cooper directly through the email or number on the screen. Reporting in Sturgis, I'm Madison Newman.